Hey guys, it's Maeve. Today we're here with Dora and it is shedding season and Dora is one of the ones that sheds a lot. So we're going to go over how to use a shedding blade or a curry comb to shed your horse. So you can just use a curry comb how you normally would. You know, holding their halter with one hand starting right behind their ears and doing circles. She's not shedding that much on her neck anymore, but if we move further back here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's all this hair falling off. And if you look at my curry comb, it quickly collects a lot of that extra hair. So again, just vigorous circles all over their body, over and over and over again, for as long as you have time for, is going to be one of the most effective ways to shed your horse or pony. You can also do that on their legs, right? So it's not just their body that's gonna shed, their forearms here are gonna shed a lot. There I'm typically, you can do some small circles. I'm often gonna go up and down, just like this. There's a lot of hair collecting there as well. So then if we move on to our shedding blade, we'll go to the other side where the fur is not already loosened. The shedding blade you maybe don't wanna use on any of their bony surfaces or anywhere that's sensitive, so I wouldn't use it so much on their face. I wouldn't use it at the back of their legs or right under their belly where they might be sensitive, but anywhere else should be okay. You can just vary the pressure. So press a little harder on the tough spots and a little bit more gently if you're doing somewhere like the legs or under their girth. So the shedding blade has two sides to it. It's a bit dirty, but it has this side with the teeth and a smooth side. So you're gonna use the side with the teeth. If you'd like, you can undo it. Hold it with your two hands. And then you would use it like this. I typically just leave it done up like this. And do it with one hand. And you're just going to put the side with the teeth against their body. Typically, you're only gonna kind of use one edge of the shedding blade at a time. So I'm not using both edges flat against her side. I'm angling it ever so slightly, not quite like this, but angling it slightly to have the right amount of pressure to be scraping off any extra hair. So it probably works about the same as the curry comb. We're getting lots of hair off this side as well. Different horses have different coats. So Dora had a really thick coat. She grows a lot of hair. She's shedding a lot. So either of these methods are gonna take a lot of hair off of her all the time. Some of the other horses that have a thinner coat or shorter hair or longer hair, you might find that one or the other between the shedding blade and the curry comb works better. So you can experiment with it a bit and find what works best for you. Um, but with the shedding blade, you're just gonna continue doing that all over their body as well. Again, you can use it a bit under their girth or on their belly. You're just gonna do it a bit more gently and carefully and pay attention to your horse. So Dora's not pinning your ears. She's not trying to bite. She's not threatening to lift one of her legs. So that means she's okay with me doing this. If your horse started to show any of those signs, again, they're pinning their ears, they're twisting back towards you, thinking about biting, they're kicking, they're shifting their feet, then it might be a sign that they're not very comfortable with what you're doing, and you should maybe try and do it more lightly or gently, or just leave it and not do that anymore for the day. Um, but as long as they're okay with it, you can use it a little bit gently on their legs as well. And then every now and then, if the hair is getting stuck in it, you can just kind of pull it out. One of the cool things about a shedding blade too is in the summer, if you're bathing your horse, you can flip it around and use the flat side to have it double as a sweat scraper to scrape off any extra uh, water after giving them a bath with this smooth side. So that's just a little bit about the shedding blade and we can all work a little extra these next couple of weeks to help get our horses shedding out all their winter fur and feeling a bit more comfortable. Bye.